Governor Moore mentioned nuclear power, which is emerging as a possible way to meet Maryland's energy needs as demand and costs soar across the state. And tonight, Gary Collins with our Spotlight on Maryland team has an exclusive look at operations inside a nuclear power plant. Calvert Cliff's nuclear power plant along the Chesapeake Bay in Southern Maryland is preparing to celebrate its 50th anniversary next month. Our team had the opportunity to go to the power plant to see what makes it turn and ask them the same questions you've asked us. John Felipe, your plugs in. Site project manager for Calvert Cliff's nuclear power plant. I'll let you walk in first. Go ahead. Took us between two electrical generators that are providing Maryland 87% of its clean energy. So unit one and unit two are the opposite sides of these walls right over here. So right behind us, you have nuclear fission reaction happening that's fueling this whole operation, that's keeping lights on, that's powering data centers, it's doing everything. And so what comes out from the other side of that wall is the steam that you're standing over. That is really the output of what comes out of there. To then go into the turbine, spin the turbine, and spin the generator to make electricity. Feeling the earth beneath our feet shake from the rapid rotation of dueling turbines and shafts nearly as long as football fields. Felipe continued to explain. This is all of the, the output, all of the steam that is coming from the reactor. How controlled nuclear explosions, housed inside two concrete structures, located just hundreds of feet away, creates electricity. So this steam is moving about three times the speed of sound with 900 pounds per square inch, approximately 540 degrees Fahrenheit. A delegation of Constellation Energy leaders, the owners of the nuclear power plant, led us into the control room, the heart of the operation. Right now, how much energy is this place generated as we stand right here in this control room? So each unit produces about 900 megawatts. So that's be 900 million watts of power for, per unit. So in all told, that's about 40% of the state of Maryland's electricity and almost 90% of all the clean electricity in the state of Maryland from right here being controlled in this room. Is there contingencies that are in place in this plan today to make sure doomsday doesn't actually happen? The whole plan is designed to have more equipment than it needs to be able to handle, you'll say, the worst possible event, right? And so we have the minimum number amount of equipment that we need for that, and then we always have margin on top of that because if something goes wrong, something breaks, those equipment doesn't work, when it's called a bond, we have redundancy to that redundancy. Before leaving the plan, our team had the opportunity to come close to the nuclear reactors. We pressed Felipe on a hotly debated question central to nuclear energy that lawmakers, advocates, and consumers frequently consider. As a worker who's worked here for, for years, I mean, are you concerned about any potential exposure to radiation at all? No, I'm not. You know, we have these, uh, these monitors on here that we track at all times that are uh, recorded quarterly, uh, and these are uh, federally regulated and required. But not only that, but the amount of radiation th that's being blocked and the amount that's in the area. I mean, I'll get more in my lifetime from going to the doctor for, for x-rays than I ever will in the 30 or 40 years that I may end up working here over my career if I choose to work that long. Uh, and people don't realize that uh, bananas with the potassium and things that they have as well, most people will get more radiation from eating a banana than they ever will working at a nuclear plant or living near a nuclear plant like this. We sat down with Constellation Energy's chief strategy officer while at the site and asked how power plants, particularly nuclear power plants, went from shutting down just years ago to maybe being the answer for the increased energy demand. More on that tomorrow. I'm Gary Collins in the studio with Spotlight on Maryland.